Hi there, my name is Katie. I am here today with RV Share, and today we're gonna talk to you about what it takes to make a great listing, one that is gonna stand out and attract the right renters to your RV. If you like what you learned in this video, please remember to like and subscribe, and let's get to it. Why does a great listing even matter? When a renter is searching for an RV on RV Share, what we do is put the most relevant results for them at the top of their page. And the higher that an RV ranks on that search results page means that the more renters are gonna be able to see that RV, click into it to learn more about it, and then ultimately book it, just like in a search engine. This method is called sort ranking. And what we do is really pull together two key pieces of information. We're gonna be combining the information that the renter is providing to us via their search and what you, the owner, are providing us by what's in your listing. And we're trying to match those together and we're constantly learning and trying to make sure that we're receiving the most relevant results for that RV renter your listing page is going to be the central source of information that an RV renter can go back to and learn more about your RV specifically and making sure that it is right for their needs. And without the proper information in that listing, the less likely that an RV renter is gonna know if it's the right vehicle for them. No matter how great your rig is, it will not perform well as a rental unit unless you properly describe how wonderful it really is to rent. So now that we've gotten the why this is so important out of the way, we can get into the nitty gritty about how to go about and build a great listing. So what you need to know is that your listing is gonna be made up in, of two key pieces of information. You are going to have your written information and you're gonna have your visual information. But please remember that honesty is the best policy across both of them. So your listing really needs to be accurate and true and the unit needs to reflect how it has been described either in the written part or how you have shown it in the visual piece. And if it's not, you are gonna hear about this in your feedback from renters and negative reviews will impact how you rank in the search results page. So it's really important that your listing is accurate and true. So starting with the written information, there's gonna be three key areas. You're gonna have your RV details, your amenities, and your title and description. So your RV details are gonna be the baseline knowledge about your RV itself. So think about the year, the make, the model, the length of the unit. This is information that's gonna help the RV renter to understand if it's gonna fit their functional needs. Your RV amenities are gonna be anything that your RV features that is included in the nightly rate. So this is gonna be the kitchens, the sleeping arrangements, how many people can sleep, bathrooms, and anything else that you plan on adding that is included in the nightly rate. And this is where you're gonna start to see some variances depending on the owner, and you might have to figure this out through trial and error. Essentially, what you wanna do is be able to take away as many barriers as possible from the renter to enjoy their dream vacation. I mean, think about it, when you want to rent an apartment or a house, wouldn't you really prefer to choose the one where you really didn't have to pack up your entire kitchen in order to enjoy? So it, the same goes for RV rentals. This is just something that you'll have to figure out over time and there might be some adjustment just depending on um, your business and how you want it to function and what works for you. And your description is gonna be the written paragraph where you are going to market your RV to renters. This is the area that you're going to be able to talk a little bit about your RV and why a renter should choose this one over something that might be a little bit similar. A good place to start is really putting yourself in the renter's shoes and thinking about what they can expect in your space from the experience, thinking about the things that you cared about when you were selecting your RV. And if you really want to make your RV stand out, you can go beyond the basics and add some fun things that will make a camping trip more memorable for your renters. Some thought starters here include like comfy camping chairs, a charcoal grill with charcoal included, coolers, waters, or even a little welcome basket with some ingredients for s'mores. Uh, believe us when we say that renters really, really love and appreciate the extra time and thought to make their camping trip really special. And it's gonna be reflected in your reviews. So think through this, this is your chance to be creative here. And if you do do this, make sure that you take pictures and add it into your description of what people can expect and make it stand out. 
Speaking of pictures, it's really important to remember that a picture is worth a thousand words and that is true for your RV listing too. And not only because it helps set the tone and the experience for the RV renter, but it factors into your ranking as well. So pictures are very powerful. We have created some completely separate content on how to optimize your pictures. So check out the link in the description. Pictures are so important. But some of the most important things to know about pictures specifically for your listing is that the pictures are going to be the first impression outside of your headline that the RV renter is going to see. So make sure that you have it looking its best when you go to take all your photos. That means that having it clean, having it organized, preferably staging it and making sure that it is in really good, preferably natural lighting. You really want to have people imagine themselves in your space. So really take more pictures than you think you might need in every kind of nook and cranny of your RV. It's also really important to get pictures of your vehicle on the outside, preferably in some sort of like picturesque or awe inspiring scenario. What we're trying to do here is get people excited about rented and excited about renting your RV. So try and take some really great pictures of it in really nice environments. And if you don't don't have those types of photos, that's okay. What we recommend is that you ask your renters to share any photos that they have. Just try to get ones where they don't have people in them. I think that's always really helpful. People are so nice and so willing to share um, their experience when they rent. So we often recommend you just ask your renter for those pictures if you don't have them. We recommend you have at least 20 pictures at a minimum of your RV. You never know what's gonna catch a renter's eye. So make sure that you put as many pictures as you can. We do not have a limit on how many pictures you can add to your listing. Well, add-ons and upsells are anything that you want to provide at an extra cost to the renter. And these are things that are not required by the renter to purchase in order to get your RV. So think through things that you think are great to have and make a camping vacation really fun, but are not necessarily required for a successful trip. So these are things like kayaks or generators or mountain bikes. Some owners add add-ons like extra services to provide to make the process easier for renters. This is something like delivery or dumping fees. No matter how luxurious or how convenient you have made your RV, most travelers are gonna be working on a budget. And what we have found in our research is that price really eclipses everything else and every other factor when it comes to determining an RV's success on our platform. So what you wanna do is really think through the price and research in the price and find one that is reflective and fair of both your time and your service, but also making sure that it has a wide enough audience. So a good way to figure out how to price your unit is to search other units in your area that are similar, make and model, and understanding what the average going rate is, you're gonna wanna preferably look at folks that already have reviews as well. If you don't have any reviews, you're gonna wanna figure out what the average nightly rate is in your area and then set your rate a little bit lower than that just to get the ball rolling. And as you get more reviews, you can kind of reevaluate that at any time. What we see also is that people should be cognizant of what season that they're in. We are in a very seasonal business, so that is gonna adjust your rates throughout the year. So make sure that you're paying attention to that when you set your original rate. Again, you can always go back and adjust that as needed. So one last thing to consider that the perfect listing is not gonna happen right away. It is gonna happen over time as you learn more and as you get more feedback from your renters. So consider it a work in progress constantly and something that should be revisited all of the time. All right, so that is it. Thank you so much for spending so much time. I feel like this was a really long video, but we really appreciate it and we want to underline how important a great listing is and hopefully this will help you be on your way with doing that. So if you like what you've learned in this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Again, my name is Katie, I'm with RV Share, and thank you so much for being with us today. Have a good one, bye-bye.